Oh my god, look at that. Wow, wow. That is very unhappy Baghdad. That's kind of what it looked like, right? Yep, even worse. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Today's viewer request is from Anime Fan. He cites a story from the Air and Space Forces magazine and I'll put the link to the full story in the video description. The story is of the world's first B-52 low level bombing mission. First I would like to read part of the story out, then look at the scenario details and then we'll run the mission. So, in the early morning of January 17th, 1991, at bases across Saudi Arabia and on board aircraft carriers, hundreds of aircrew got final combat briefings and headed out to their aircraft. By that time, however, 20 B-52s had already been airborne for hours and were bearing down on Iraqi targets. One group of 13 B-52G bombers high above the southern Arabian Peninsula refueled from KC-10 tankers for the second time that night. Soon after topping off, the huge planes descended and began the B-52's first ever low-level combat mission. At 3am, F-117 stealth fighters struck vital targets in Baghdad. One hour later, two and three plane flights of B-52s were racing across southern Iraq en route to their targets. To stay below Iraqi radar coverage on that moonless night, the bombers barreled along at altitudes just a few hundred feet above the desert floor. The lumbering bombers were guided by terrain avoidance radar. Their pilots peered into the darkness through night vision goggles. In the offence compartment below the cockpit, the navigator and the bombardier completed their final checks. Behind the pilots, the electronic warfare officer and gunner intently watched their equipment, waiting for any indication of the presence of a radar threat or hostile fighter. The EWO announced, no radars up. The huge bomber turned towards the night's target, an Iraqi airbase with hardened concrete fighter shelters now only 20 miles distant. The pilots pushed up the speed to make sure that the bomber would arrive exactly at the planned time. To be off by just a few seconds could mean a collision with another B-52. The night's targets were among the most important of the war. Hundreds of Allied aircraft depended on these bases being put out of action on the first night. Four miles ahead, the B-52 members saw a spectacular eruption of anti-aircraft artillery into the darkness. Then, a ground-based spotlight lit up the lead bomber as it released its load of CBU-89 Gator mines across the base's maintenance areas. Thousands of minelets fell past the curtain of anti-aircraft fire. 20 seconds and climb was the nav's cue for the pilot to climb another 100 feet so that the falling bombs could nose over enough to stick in the ground rather than bouncing off into the desert. Tracers and spotlights lit the way. Target in sight, answered the pilot, making one final steering correction. The navigation computer opened the bomb bay doors and dropped the weapons automatically into the darkness. Three dozen 1,000 pound bombs plunged into the taxiways linking the aircraft shelters to the runway. Seconds later, the formation's third B-52 dropped an identical load on the taxiways at the runway's far end. Throughout southern Iraq, the explosions of minelets and cratering bombs continued for several hours. The explosions at first paralysed and then slowly destroyed four airfields and improvised highway landing strips. We today will be escorting B-52s, a three-ship. They will be starting here, 190 miles north of their target. In fact, let me explain the geography. Iraq is over here. As you can see, it's not modelled in our sim. So today, the UAE here will be Iraq. Our B-52s will fly south to steer point one, where they will meet up with a tanker and refuel. Then they will head through a series of steer points through Kuwait and 100 miles further into Iraq. They will be bombing this airfield as per the real story. Our mission today is to take out the main runway 
and taxiways and any targets of opportunity. Then off target, they will head east and once they're over the coast, we'll say that's mission complete. In the real story, the B-52s were not targeted by surface-to-air missiles or fighter interceptors, but we like to jazz things up to give my guys a bit more excitement. So, of course, there will be at least three medium-range SAMs and a whole bunch of AAA and fighters that are going to scramble and try and take us out. Uh, I should note we do have AWACS support for this just to make our data links work and in terms of our aircraft we'll start just a few miles away from the starting position of the bombers. We have to scramble, take off, meet the bombers and obviously escort them all the way. We can have either F-16s, F-18s, F-15C, F-15E or F-14B. The F-16s will be strictly seed. They'll have two anti-radiation missiles and fuel tanks and some sidewinders, all period accurate. The F-18s will have a mixture of harms, sparrows and sidewinders again all period accurate the f-15c's will be strictly air-to-air -air, sparrows and sidewinders the f-15e's also will be air-to-air -air, sparrows and sidewinders the tomcats today are bombcats you will have 14 500 pound bombs and you'll be bombing with the bombers uh, in terms of the briefing it's as simple as that guys uh, any predictions something's gonna blow up america's gonna win today huh that would be period accurate we have Simba, Matrix, uh, Grump, Cap for the first time, Tog. Hello, Tog. Hello, everyone. Strider, Dark, Cannonball, and Bird. Simba, please unpause server. Guys, you got like 10 seconds to set your jet up, so get ready. Pip, 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 pip. Pip, 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 pip. I'm going to Tomcat today, viewers. I figured it would make a good viewing platform, if nothing else, for you guys. Um, hip. F-16s, lead us out. Uh, other F-15 EIM, Echo 4 for radar. Right. Coming off the gas to save fuel. Roger. 200 miles to go, guys. Uh, no, 200 miles plus 50, so 240 total. Plus loiter. Bomber's roughly 065. Got him heavy. I'm going to send an intercept for us at the moment. See if that's going to fuel. 14 bombs with me today. Roger Dark, what heading please? I'm going 130. Maybe maybe one gonna come over to 140. Roger, I think they're at 25,000 feet, guys. What's their track did you say? 180? Yeah, pretty much 180. Um they're right above me now in an F-16 popping up flare. Roger, B-52s are deceivingly fast, guys. It's one thing I've learned. In fact, I think they would have actually outrun in the 50s things that would have hunted them, like MiG-15s and so on. And there's another thing. I have a small bone to pick with my beloved viewers. Uh, we did, guys, you remember we did a B-52 low-level raid the other day? I think it was in Vietnam, wasn't it? Man... B-52s were making fighter pilot turns. That was it, yeah. It was a low-level raid. It never happened. It was a fictitious one that could have happened but never did. And um, I had a lot of viewer comments saying, that's stupid. Uh, B-52s were never designed to do low-level uh, attack missions. But um, I take issue with that. I mean, they were designed as high-altitude bombers. You know, we know that. But I believe in the late 50s and early 60s, with the implementation uh, of SAM 1, 2 and 3 systems by Russia, the mission was changed back then to do low-level ingress. I mean, it never happened, obviously, because the war never went hot. Hence, they have the terrain-following radars and stuff that they used in 1991. Same happened with the V-Bomber force in the UK. They yeah. were designed to go over the... Uh... Uh, air defense and then all of a sudden when the SAMs came up they went down. Yep, guys, I'm much slower than you guys, I'm very heavily loaded. Can you let me know the airspeed so I can plan an intercept please? Um faster than Mark point seven. Roger, I'm at Mark point eight and I can't go faster really even with uh half the burn. I'm at Mark point eight in closing. Yeah I think that's one target at for uh, thirty miles, Angels twenty six hot. Roger. Is that um 
It's a uh, showing up as a white target. It must interrogate it, but it must be a tanker, surely. All right, we are on it's task. It's a tanker. It's a tanker, Roger. We're on task to slowly, I think I can see it, slowly catch those B-52s up. Matrix, I'm saddled on the right side. Round, round 300. Roger. I'm on the trail tanker. Or the trail buff. The buff will air to air fuel, but you will not. Um, simply because we don't have enough time. It would add an extra hour and a half to refuel us all. You could have just put like 15 tankers flying in for me. <laughs> 15 <it>. tankers. <laughs> well, that, I think, I think that's not unrealistic. Um, remember last time when we did the Vietnam B-52 mission, they had to refuel 30 something. Now think how many tankers that is, because each buff almost necessitates an entire tanker. It's, um, it's quite an operation. A lovely, stunning mission today, viewers. As you can see, the sun is just setting. There are going to be lots of lovely tomcats into the horizon today, or sunset, or whatever. Tog, how are you finding your first mission? Have, have you crashed yet? Nope, I'm in trail. This We're is great. Thank so you. So proud of you. <laughs> I see you. No cap. Mm -hmm. I heard that he was discovered on the Grim Reapers training server where he put his time in and practice his refueling techniques and bombing techniques. He's a good boy. Viewers, yeah. Viewers too can go there and get their training game up. You can be just like Tog. Simba's just opened Ooh. the whole masses to people joining now. Yep. Open I the never, nope, nope. I never said that it included an invite. <laughs> Guys, I forgot to warn you, the buffs will be flying like fighter bombers today. Uh, try not to get in their way. <laughs> Oh geez. Yeah. Well, I, I think this is the tanker I'm is behind Probably them now just and in way. a circular orbit and they're now I think turning to find it. I'm climbing above them and I can assure okay, you that so. script and AI on this mission was an absolute nightmare viewers. I'm headed up to like 40,000 to yep. fit in my own orbit then. Yeah, fine. This trail buff is really doing his own thing. Yeah. They'll figure it out guys. They got a lot of uh, Pythagoras to do to figure out how to get with that bomber. We've got a friendly Chase Mount 145, uh, chasing the one that's going to the right. Yep. I think that's the one that we were fueling first, guys. Oh, I'm conning. Oh, that's going to look beautiful. Cue yeah, top gun music good. now. Shoot down defectors. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, copyright. And demonetized. Third copyright. Well, he story. didn't say the words. Well, sometimes you just got to hum the right thing. Or, you know, be an F-18 with said, a... That uh, said, I get copyright strikes for everything now. It's, it's kind of changed. And I get copyright strikes for, what was it, Grum? The RWR the, the beeping. The RWR. Yeah, the RWR beeping on an F-18 when you're getting locked up can actually cause a copyright strike. Yep. And, and no, wow. no S. That really is a thing. Now, here's something I learned from the other video we did. The B-52 was originally designed to have be prop-powered instead of jet. Did anyone know that? I didn't know that. Obviously, jet tech in the early 50s developed so quickly with America that they could put turbo jets or turbo fans or whatever they are on them, whereas the Russian bears couldn't. They didn't have that tech. Yeah, I believe Boeing's original plan was a big old uh, propeller aircraft, and then the uh, the contract people went, go back and put uh, jets on this. Mm -hmm. So they went, oh, okay. Yeah, here in the uh, here in the late '40s, America acquired some uh, highly skilled engineers. Yeah, where did they come from? Where That's were they stolen crazy. from? <laughs> stolen? I don't know. Uh, that we stole I like them. Say oh, tech they acquired. Work for us, or we shoot you. You guys are going. I also think not like the British, where, we, where they just throw them into uh, museums all the time. Right? Mm -hmm. I think the original buff had a tandem configuration, and Curtis LeMay demanded that it be side by side, like the B-47. So. Uh, one in front of the other, the two pilots. Yeah. And he yeah. wanted them side by side for crew resource management. I mean, the body's plenty wide, isn't it? I mean, how many crew yeah. members has Buff got? Does anyone know? There's a whole bunch of guys in there, isn't there? Depends on the era. It's changed over time. Roger. Wasn't it, wasn't it Convair that kind of started pushing the way for jets because they made the B-36? Had, the, the, had, the, had the three, or had, had the six uh, push propellers, but then also had four jet engines on it. Yeah, Open tank. Six turn and four burn it. The B1 only has four crew members and it's pretty similar um, payload, but I think uh, it's probably newer, so it probably has a bit better. Yeah. First buff appears to be trying to get the position. Okay, I'm very slowly catching up. Heavy Tomcat, slow Tomcat. I've added you to our data link. Uh oh. 
he do be trying to catch up. Look at him burning all that kerosene. Or JP8 or whatever. I think it would have been JP4 back in this time. Gotcha. I've caught up! I've caught up! The Tomcat finally caught up! It only took break. 17 minutes, but I did it. Uh, south, I'm just race tracking south of the. Don't uh, go far, guys. Don't go too far. I'll see you. No, no, we're coming back. Just been blindly following you this entire time. Officers two and three are waiting patiently behind. Hello, boys. F16s that are just here. Take it nice and relaxed. Do you know how to get your data link numbers up? I've done you. I've done all your data link. That lead number two bomber, I should say, that you see, that you can see. Mm -hmm. That's the one that's actually lined up. This Roger. one that's off to my right is waiting pattern. F16 on the right. Make sure you're not in his way. F16 in the right. Make sure you're well clear. Yep, yeah, I'm clear. They're moving in. It's just a slow ingress because the tanker's got its boom down. Oh, one's moving. You're right, Simba. One's moving. All right, fine. Simba, me and you will make want to space out left a bit more. I think they're coming left and forward. I'm going I low. got a visual. That's a nice side view. Is that Simba, Bird, three buffs, and whatever tanker that is. A big one. AC-135. Yeah. We're going to find talk. I'm orbiting waypoint one. One's moving in, one's moving in. He's going to refuel. So you're heading south to waypoint two, quick vision. Simba, you were right, it's tanking. Yours is working. Tanking in a turn, no less. Yeah. Good buff pilot, that is. Right, I need to find mission time. Today is all time on target as per the real attack, so I've got to check my clock. Anyone know where the clock is on the 14? Visual. Alright. Look at that view. And now we just sit here for 30 minutes while he fills up. Well, I've got a story about that, which I'll talk about in a minute. I've just got to check my mission time. Guys, anyone with a better clock of time? It's 17. 15, 18. 1918. 19, 18, 18 minutes past 7, uh, right, okay, we're on cue, we can still do this, oh guys, look at that blood, or it not, blood red, is that not cool, <whistles> Matrix, you must have seen some nice uh, skies in your time, three hours, two and from St. Petersburg in the middle of the night, see two and a half hours worth of northern lights, lovely, get us, is that in a 737? Uh, Airbus 320. So I just don't see how these mass refuelings of buffs are doable. They carry a third of a million pounds of fuel, I know that. And so they, 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 do, they don't do refuelings from empty. Like, yeah. a lot yeah. of times when they're doing these long distance flights, they are constantly hitting the tanker and topping back off and topping back off. Or getting to a certain uh, weight and right fuel turn. level. One's out. Shit, 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 yeah. shit! Evasive! Night vision so goggles on. Wow. Guys, the next job is you've got to find the front buff. The front buff, because they're going to separate now a little bit. Um, so do whatever you've got to do. Use your data link to find that front buff. I'm going to do my own thing trying to find it. Yeah, if you get problem out, make sure you've got your MPGs, get it configured. If you get lost, I am a good anchor. Try and find me. Cap's the only one without lights on. <laughs> Front buff is 055. And flowing from left to right. I agreed the tanker. Agreed with all. Guys, I don't want to be that guy, but I've lost it, Simba. Have you found... Has he you, you gone in the soup? Oh, God. He's gone in the clouds on yeah. a heading of 160. Uh, if you can see me with the 16 with the lights on, I'm following him. Uh, under 20,000 now. All right, I'm full IFR now. Oh, I hate this. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Right, be careful, Tog. Real dangerous right now. If you're with him, if you can keep uh, his altitude, keep calls of his altitude and his speed will be good. I'm trying to catch up to him again, but he's turned his lights off too, which is fun. Yeah, he's gone tactical. Uh, keep your lights on, guys, at least for now, uh, until we get... Oh my God, this is dangerous. All the, I'm oh, in the suit. I'm 10 feet away from him, I can't see him. Don't risk. He will come out the bottom, he'll come out the bottom. Don't risk him. Yeah, he's gone. Looks like he's at about... He, yeah, descending. He's descending to the oh, next cloud layer. Him. I just found him a fluke. I think I have him locked up on my... Uh, yeah, 
I've just Pretty found nice. him by one in a million fluke viewers. That is absolutely amazing. Okay, he's diving between cloud layers now. His out of Jesus break. 7,000. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh god, it's gone yep. through another layer. 8,000 through the layer. Watch your altimeter, guys. Watch your symbology. Does anyone know his track? I've never got his track. 145-ish. Watch out. Oh, I hate this so friggin' much. Oh god, I've lost him in the, the sea. Alright. Just worry about yourself, mainly. Visual with uh, Iraq. Carlson. I'm through, I'm through. I'm through the cloud. He's here somewhere. Oh, I got him. I got him. Visual, 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 one of you guys. That will do me. I'm homing in. Every two seconds, check your barometric altimeter. He is uh, below 1,000 feet now on a heading of 130. He's at 470 feet right now, 360 knots. I'm closing fast. Oh, see you, bird. Or I see you, Cap. Roger, I'm, God, I'm about to hit him. I just, just moved you. Yeah. 340 knots, 340. Right He's right there. I'm above you guys. Oh god, this is dangerous. Uh, god, this is dangerous. Are you pulling in next to Bird? I'm on the right too, but I'm trying not to hit him. Okay. Look at that, viewers. Look at that for an intercept. I'm proud of that. Perfect intercept, pitch black conditions. Guns. What? Anti-air. Anti-air, anti right. We're passing over the border now. Do what he, he does. Climbing. He's climbing. Well done for getting with. If you haven't got with him, don't hurry it. Just lag behind. It's not the end of the world. Careful, bird. He's diving He's again. Diving He's diving again. again. He's just doing evasive for the gunfire. Remember, they can't mm. see him. They can't see him. They're just firing. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. Wow. That is very unhappy, Baghdad. That's kind of what it looked like, right? Yep, even worse. Now, he has slowed down to around 300 knots. Yeah, well, he's an idiot then. That said, as long as his light's off, don't worry too much about your lights. I know in real life you would be seen, but AI can't see it. Oh, don't hit that building, B-52. Oh, my God, don't do it. Don't, it's not worth it. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh what an idiot. If you get hit, you may get hit. If you get hit, that's just, un that's just bad luck as per real life, guys. I'm nervous. Same on MVG, I can't see any of you guys even though you're right in front of me. Roger, Roger, yeah. just. I can tell you we're not out of the fire yet. We're not out of the fire. If you get see. low, it's kind of easy to see them looking up. Truly noted. Yeah, you think so. Well, oh, there goes his radar warning altitude, so there goes a the demonetization for cap. Yep. Thank you. Trusty data link, uh, data link won't lie. Oh, you guys are right below me. <laughs> Yep, we're in heading of 136. Yeah, careful when you drop down. This is the bow. It's so big, it's so dangerous. I'm going to hit this guy. Oh, there it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you almost ran over me. Yeah, I've got this hepping great bow. I can't deal with it. Right, I'm right, ducking down and out of combat. Right, we're now moving into Iraq proper, guys. I need someone to keep an eye on their odd. Someone who's better than me at flying, which is most of you. Keep an eye on your RWR, the threats. Because I can't, I'm barely just trying to survive. I got my SAP here. Thank you. In the seed roll today will be um, F-16s, and I'll uh, deploy them when we need. Has anyone seen radiation yet? Uh, RWR in front of me is clear. Can I have a volunteer F-18 um, to just pop up high for a minute, or F-16, just to look for radiation signals? Yeah, I've got two search radars uh, ahead. Right, so it sounds like we've got radiation in play. In that case, can we have the F-16s? Um, Buster ahead a few miles, please. Try and find those SA2s and keep us appraised of their condition because if we have to turn the buffs back, we'll need to do that. Thank you. I'm Whoa. guessing they're off. They're ahead. A, uh, Are we okay to climb? We have, a, we have yes. uh, air targets. Air targets oh, on the uh, 40 miles out. Angels 3 and Angels 4. Yep, right. got nails. Big 25. That's the F-18s and the F-15s. F-18s, F-15s. Intercept those fighters. Got back. We're up engaging. Um, Bird, you want to come left to try and avoid those to get to that search radar? Yeah, I'm moving off left. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm they're sure. on my tid, they're on my tid. Four fighters. Yeah, matrix function to descent. Grum's fin, Grum the fence in 7.6. Try to go in right post. Use your data oh, links. Closer search radars. They're on the data links. 
You have four fighters and one notching. Range. Two in the, two in the line of breast. Range 25 Roger. and one trailing. 30 miles from Remember. package. Remember guys, we only have box ones. Turning Shoot. towards those first search radar that we're next to. One target Are we each. taking the search or the SA-2s out? Oh yeah. Matrix is on the right hand uh, lead fighter. SA-2s priority. Yeah, the left one. Watch the Simba. All right, Grumble engage uh, second target uh, on the right side. Um, whoever is, I think it's Cannonball, you're going straight into the uh, the dog mess of the fighters. Roger, keep your SA there, guys. Keep your SA. You've all got data link. I don't know he doesn't. Sub 30 miles to strike package. I'm going to start locking bandits up. Roger. Matrix taking left hand uh, guy. Nah, I can't do that. Copy. Uh, no Trader, Fox yeah. 1, right list. Roger. Cabs lost data link contacts. I'm relying on you guys now. I'm now part of the package. Oh, Snoop. Do we have splashes? Splash one. Well done. One down, three to go. Just doing it in blind. No, there they are. Uh, Rich got the right hand guy, he's uh, nose cold. In fact, all enemy fighters nose cold. Good. First Mr. Rider Fox one again. Cannonball, do you want to take this close to search radar to you about 153 for 10 miles? Got it. I have the one that is uh, about 230 from us. Yeah, just outside the ring of the um, of your harm? Uh, no, directly in no, the no. middle. Oh, I see it locked up, yeah. Slash 125. Well done. Two left. You going? They're armed with Fox ones, by the way, just so you know. You probably wouldn't in real life, but you know now. Uh, we'd know because they, that's the only thing we had back then. Yeah. Fox ones and Fox 2s. Are you prosecuting that one off your nose, Matrix? I'm turning left to take the one on my nose now. Turning 24 miles. I'm in trail. Got my bandits ahead. Package is safe so far. Ooh, the same vision in my one clock. Fox one again. Uh, if it's close range, I've got him locked up because you just crossed in, in front of us. Roger. Yep, that one bit off your nose. I see you chasing yeah, him. Fox one. Yeah, chase him away. Bitch. Cannonball action over there. The rocket pilots in real life are very reticent to get into a dog fight. So yes, look at that. Four boys chasing him. Look at that, viewers. On the tid. Splash. Brilliant. Does anyone know if there's any fox bats left? I got two down. Nope. Work clean. clean. All right, guys. That should be it for interceptors. Your mission now is to obviously take out any sites. Air to air, guys. Make your way back to the buff. There may still be quick reaction alert. I'm going to start setting myself up for bombs. Okay, the farthest search radar to the south Roger. of the base. I'm going to put a magnum on it. I did not fire on the close one yet. Okay. Who fired an AGM-88 around my area? I fired one locked right. on the one close to me, but it appears to have gone for a different one. There's one right behind me. I'm going to circle back and get it. Cap in edge of ground mode. All right. Magnum. Your um, missile missed them. Otherwise, do you want to hit the one in front of you now? Not the one that I you were going towards? Sure. We're both headed towards the opposite one. Package 10 miles out. I'm searching for that SA2 site. I'm not seeing any signatures. Right, jump. In real life, once they knew the harms were in the air, they did actually shut down. All right, Shack, uh, uh, search radar. Magnum. Well done. Keep it up. Keep Magnum. Up. Magnum. Be advised, you got a harm about to come over your head. Package IP ingressing. Target in sight. AAA going up. Big time. Oh, here we go again. Come on, Buff. Buff climbed to bombing altitude 2,000 feet. Radar destroyed. Full power. Well done, well done, well done, guys. Oh, damaged a couple things, but did not destroy anything. Where's that bomber? Where's that bomber? Watch out. We've not, the package is on target, we've not been shot down, so it's a success as far as I'm concerned for you guys. Bomb bay doors open. Actually, it looks like it is destroyed, I don't see anything. Just wait. Bombs deployed. 
Cab dropping now. Now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Bombs are hitting from the path. Oh my god. C1 radar, C3 radar still active. Airfield absolutely smashed. Where's the path? Where's second route? Second route to you inbound. Roger. Lost beat fast. Front matrix. Do you have any VGs equipped? Yeah, mine are. I'm not. Pitch black in the head up display, it's about it. Yeah. Yeah, if you use it, it becomes kind of useless in the other team. What happened to the second buffs? Third buffs? Uh, all three have done their pass. Beautiful. Your mission now, guys, that means that the SAMs are defeated. We've just destroyed the base and there is no more bases within 100 miles. So the cap is done. Next, find the lead B-52. We've got to weave our way through a set of canyons to get the chuff out of here. Get it done. Use your data link. All right. Speaking of which. Or the ground for that, man. I'm aware how hard it is. Yep. I'm also struggling. Triple A observed. Bombers on data link. Yep. They look okay. angry, those people. Bombers are to the right of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish I'd ask them to turn their friggin' lights on. One in a million stroke viewers have just looked right and there he is, isn't that? I'm having a lot of luck today, which is very rare. But I welcome it. Cap's found lead bomber. I think they're heading over the lights. Yeah, right. Yeah. Cap, flares out now. With lead bomber, flares going out. Cap, you got a bomb. The third bomber is just off your left wing Regain now. Uh, same altitude. Yeah, thank you. Climbing. I reckon it's best to be above or below him. I'm actually preparing to go below, but I'm aware we've got different night vision goggles, so... Sorry, I prefer being above, but I've got no different night vision goggles. Right, I made it to him. woo -hoo -hoo. Look, they're still firing at the base. Friggin' Iraqis. Get some friggin' MVGs, you noobs. It's because I'm flying overhead them at 17,000. I'll be that. Me being me, of course, I've lost vision on the... But no, regain. Hello, bomber. All right, I'm going to get right next to him then, guys. I'm putting flares out again. Flares out now. Oh, these night vision goggles, oh. they... Yeah, next to useless. Yeah, I see I see your flares, I don't see you. I'm just gonna keep flaring. It helps if you turn your lights on, yeah. They are on, they're terribly dark in the Tomcat. Uh, I think we can turn them up. Oh, I can't do that, I'm in formation with the bomber. Right. Just Still wait. Looking. Put two more out and I'm wingtip with him. Oh, it's grainy, I see him. Visual. Yeah, got him, viewers. Now that is aviating. Let's speedy cap get, uh, get him at. Sorry, I can't look. I'm going to guess about 350. It feels like 350. Garage. Stuck in his wake. Try not to crash. Oh, God, that's ugly. Oh, oh he's turning. Wrong. He's turning to the right. Oh, my God, that's a mountain. We're in a canyon. We're in a canyon. Flares. Oh, crap. I, I crashed. Uh, what What's going on? It's back in light. Stop going there. You're right, I'm not with the right rear one. I'm, I'm not with the front one. We've just caught another one up. Who's flaring? That's me, I'm up with the front one. He's ahead of me by about a mile. Right, I was with the rear one. How did that even happen? Oh, it goes in that light. What is that light? Oh, it's my own cockpit. It's my own cockpit, it's making a huge light. I don't know why. Oh, I hate this, I've decided. I hate it. Look <laughs> what happens to my cockpit viewers. I don't know why it's doing that. My net lights are in my mirror, in my eyes. Yep. 300, and they're going about 300. Maybe a titchy witch a bit less. No, 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 just visual with them. No, the internet's going to be all like, upset. Turn on the left. Obviously, we'll fly in formation with these, but we want to. It's very challenging and fun. Right, I found the middle one. Without my weird we, glass bomb. Nature's behind, nature behind the lead bomber. All flat. Uh, if you're in the 14, you're just passing the second one on your left. He appears to be going about 3, 4, 5. No, I tell a lie. That's the third bomber. Oh, yeah. The one that you're about to come up to mm. is um, is the second bomber. Yeah, agreed. I turned my gain way up and it made it a lot easier to see them. Coming left. Coming left, yep. Someone just buzzed us at a million miles an hour. Yep. Hello. I, bet. I just got an altitude warning. Someone look around. Okay, Grump's on the second bomber. Yeah, I'm on him, Grump, as well. Yeah, I see you, Grump. I see you. All right. Uh, Matrix is at you with your light on. Matrix the lights on, yes. I'm you here, yeah. right now. You just to send me on the front bomber. If I'm. Yeah, Matrix is uh, yeah popping. Ah, blinded me. It's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, visual flare. Yeah, we're all in a big trail. We've all done it. Well done, guys. Oh my god. 
my god. Hey, the sink rate's too high. I got it, I got it, I got it. There's a screen following for sure. They have terrain following, yeah. Okay, from the second bottom. Are we trying to go to the first one? We, it doesn't matter. Just get them to the coast and then our mission's done. We can go and have a swift cup of tea. Lead bomber's slightly left. F-15 just smashed past me. I see the coast. I'm pretty sure that's the coast. Mission nearly finished. You yeah. I want to know who who we've lost, but I don't dare look at the scoreboard or anything at the moment. It's just too risky. It was Simba. It's Roger Simba. Yeah. You know what? I can understand. It was only a matter of time. Make a special start with the lead bomb. There it is on the left. A great one. Cannonball and trail. Trump is actually on the third bomber coming up in the second. Well, I've got time to moan. I have 14. I've chosen the worst plane for visibility. Honestly, it's like looking through the porthole of a friggin' submarine. And 90% of because of how the HUD works, I can't look forward because of the the HUD messes with my um, MVG. So I have to fly this whole thing looking at a tiny little slot while flying. Yep. It's a you got to learn to adjust your brightness. Welcome to the Come 90s, Cap. Hate the 90s. <laughs> I believe the new ones can actually see. use thermal to make the image look like it's. Roger, um, well, much of it would just be digital. We just just turn turn the pixels up. I imagine. Yeah, but they don't actually require any light at all. Sometimes wow. we, could, we can use thermal to make the image look like I it's a uh, so normal much right picture. Now. Guys, once you pass the coast, unrestricted climb and flares and chat yeah. and kind of be open. And whatever. Oh, I think there's a base here. We can land at a base. Feet wet. Cancel the unrestricted climb. I think there's a base. Anyone know where it is? I remember there's a base here somewhere. We'll pretend it's uh, Saudi Arabia. North here by quite a while. I'm going to have a look in a minute. Bomber 2, feet wet. Super cap. Ooh. Somehow survived that. I'm going to go and pretty look on the maps to see where this thing is. Uh, I'm not going 50 miles to a base. Uh, who fancies oh, landing on a road? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Come let's try it. Oh, we're all about Milsim, you know that, viewers. Togg, are you still alive? Flying trail, can you hear me? Yeah, hello, Tog. We're going to land on the um, road somewhere. Trying to just attach yourself to someone, land on a road. Try not to blow up. Oh, my wings are too wide for this S. There's no way I can do this. Just put them back. No, because I can't land 500 knots. I'm just going <laughs> to land the best way. Right. right, I'm going to land in and watch you guys. Flaps down, things There's down. No straight road here on the right. Yeah, it's also got frigging lights on it. True. Right, here we go. Super gap on speed. Oh, I see the road you're talking about. Oh, I wish I could see the road you were talking about. Uh, there are so many roads. Straight. Yes. A little, little pink in the middle. I don't, desert. I don't, Why have they got bends in the road? Alright, I'm going for it. I'm going for a bit here. Here we go, viewers. Wish me the absolute best. I will give you the world. Come on, if I do this, I'm possibly the world's best human, which is important. Oh my I'm god. Do a quick cricket, not you land matrix. Yeah, I'm gonna land on the one to the south on lit. Well, thanks, buddy. At least I can get retired on disability now. Just trying to get off the side once here. Oh no, no, no! That was still good. Um. Thanks for lighting the way, Cap. Huh? Ah, it's not a river. It's a river. <laughs> Major landed in a river. Or a plonka. Um, <laughs> yep. Correct knowledge. Huh? Dark's landing. Not even on the road. It's just landing. What are you even landing on, Dark? My uh, server locked up, so I lost oh, connection. Oh, got it, Tom. What is the road? What is the road? You're all right. You'd have to do it then. I'm on a road almost. Could you find a smaller road, Dark? There's like a hundred foot wide ones over there. Oh, oh. Just the wrong road. Yes, quite. And someone just blew up behind road. you. Yeah, that was from. me. I hit a lamp post. Come on, someone! No, 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 no! So that's only what happened to me. Oh, come on. You're still good. You're still good, Grum. I'm alive. Uh oh, you won't be for a minute. For a minute. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> bird. Right. Anyone left? <laughs> I think that turn in the road is going to be a bit stiff for you. No, it's fine. It's net 15. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Well, hides the only road that has no lights. What a He's chap. It. Yeah, that is. If he can do it, extra sex points, and there will be girlies. There will be girlies. If that is indeed your thing. Come on. And it's got a nice little bed to help slow down. Come there on. we go. Come on. Can't Come see on. shit. Come on, you're fine, you're fine. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. 100 knots. Turn your brakes on, oh. man. 90 knots. 80 knots. That's still fast. 60 knots. See you, Matrix. 
by Matrix. He's made it. We've got someone down in basically impossible nice. positions. All right, guys, what were we doing? We followed the buff um, and we bombed the base and we lost Simba in an accident, Tog disconnected, but otherwise, amazingly, we all made it through and you all saw how obscenely dangerous that was. So that shows how well my boys are operating at the moment. Super chuff. They shot the MiGs down, four of them. One ran away. I watched him get chased on the data link. Super happy. I wouldn't really want to do that again because uh, that was a bit nerve-wracking. But any thoughts from my humanoids? America. I'm wondering what the Night Witches could see. Yeah, Night Witches. Buck didn't even have a candle, guys. They just had big balls, big, big testicles. Strider's going for a nice takeoff. Yes. Beautiful afterburners. Classic GR. Classic ending. GR. Let's hope he's trimmed it to max hilarity, guys. I mean, the air breakup was a good idea, too. Yeah. yeah. He's going to Baghdad. He's going, going to Baghdad. He's bombing Baghdad. He will sleep well tonight. He's deaccelerating. What's Bombs happening? over a package. It's pretty, guys. He's only gone and done it. I think it's an he's absolute a, powerhouse. He's made the F 15E the VTOL aircraft. It is. As he goes into the high alpha pass. As my baby would say, bye.